Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises to and honor and glory is due unto Yahweh by Shimi. I was shy by Shimmer Karkadash. Just all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Shimmy in the name, and Yahweh Shai be the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect preaching his word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba in the Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And um, I'm going to be highlighting a video that, uh, you know, one of the head brothers over there in the UK did entitled Shortages, Shortages, Perplexity of, ne of Nations. And this video details exactly how an already insufficient system of getting goods from one country to the next country is co consistently and compoundingly becoming more and more detri detrimental to the, to the global supply chain. And basically, it's coming into shortages being everywhere. Shortages on every good, you know, stock uh, uh, ports, you know, shipping ports and everything, uh, uh, costing more goods going from one country to the next costing far more, right? And what this is doing is it's, just, it's driving inflation and it's driving shortages because with in this situation with Brexit, situations with the US and China, the shipping, the shipping crate, um, uh, the shipping crate crisis where it's costing more just to have those shipping crates, you know, Things are getting so excessively out of hand and it's driving what? Famine. These shortages, these famine is all going to culminate into ushering in a system that promotes the market of beasts because with, with what's going on in the world, it's a problem where certain people are getting all the resources and others aren't. So in order to combat that, they're going to use this blockchain technology. They're going to use, uh, you know, the market of beasts, that new system to ensure everybody has the same. This is why within that whole, uh, what is it called? You know, Klaus Schwab's whole detailing of, uh, of a, you know, new, uh, the, uh, a new world order is what that nobody... Everybody, nobody will own anything. You'll be happy. Basically, all goods and services will be rationed out to you. And this is exactly going to the prophecies, man. So this is Second Ezra 6 and 22. Now, I'm going to come from the angle of how, you know, this stuff is written in the scriptures of uh, increasingly, increasing shortages leading to great, greater problems. Like the apostle says, man. A big problem is nothing but a small problem that got out of hand, right? But the Esau, like his custom is, it says, like he said, uh, I forgot that one eat of my devil's name that said it, but it said, let no good crisis go to waste. Now this second Ezra 6 and 22, it says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown in a full storehouse and shall be suddenly found empty. Now these things are happening. Now when you have full storehouses suddenly be found empty, People that were able to sit here and just order anything they wanted on Amazon are no longer going to be that and be doing that. You know, people being wasteful are no longer going to be wasteful, right? This is where government systems are going to have to step in because what the, the supply chain is so broken that people are going without in such great levels that people are going to be at each other's throats, right? It says, and a trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, he shall be af suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Now, that's, that's that, that, hey, at some point, the fountain, the, the, the free flow of goods and everything throughout the world. We're coming to the point where that's standing, that's about to stand still. Nothing's going to be moving. All it takes is one trucker strike. All it takes <laughs> all it takes is one trucker strike not to go get the goods from the port. 
All it takes is one ship to block up block up a, a canal like in Suez. Right? Anything can break this thing down now. You the whole system went from you know, you, you get a stockpile, right? Just like in, in the stores. What did they used to have? Bogos. Buy one, give one free. Why did they do that? Because they had too much stock in the back. And it was coming time to sit here and check for dead stock. So they were trying to get rid of those goods. Those days are going to be gone. Those days are no longer going to be here because in three hours, the, 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 those fountains aren't going to run anymore. Because what? Now they switch it from people having stock to people to a what? They call it a right on time or just in time uh, 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 shipping method. Right? And doing anything at the last minute is always going to result in in deficiencies. Right? So, let me get this next. This is Ezekiel 12. And 9, it says, um, Son of man, hath the house, hath not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, uh, you know what? I got to jump down to 19. Sorry. I'll uh, start at uh, 17. It says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread with quaking, and drink thy water with trembling, and, careful, and with carefulness. And say unto the people of the land, Thus say Yahweh power of, of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and of the land of Israel, they shall eat their bread with carefulness. And drink thy water with astonishment, that her land may be desolate from all that is therein, because of the violence of them that dwell therein. Right? Now, the scriptures tell you, there's no new thing under the sun. That which has been is that which shall be. And this goes into that what? Rationing out your food. Right? It's, this goes all into that rationing out your food. Uh, you know, not being careless with what you have. Right? Because there's going to be shortages. There's going to be days of shortages. And this is the time we're coming into. Those days of shortages have been talk talked about in the scriptures over and over again. And it all ties in the famine. Right? If there's, in the way things work now, everything's processed. Nothing's grown. So the shortages are, are going to be, it, it, all it takes is one computer chip shortage, which there are already those for, for a factory that processes uh, processed food. And that can <laughs> make a cascade of things. All it takes is one shortage of corn to have an, a shortage of, a, of abundance of, of, of processed foods, right? All That's all it takes and it makes a cascading event which equals into hunger. People are going to be hungry and whether or not it's through what, no food growing on the earth, or through broken supply chains, killing the access to get that, right? This is um, and limitations too, right? Because this is, this is nothing new, man. This is what's gonna happen today in this world, and it's gonna it's gonna be a strange and perplexing thing to people that, at one point, you could have gone online and gotten anything you wanted, whenever you wanted. You know these women with their bin shopping online. Those days are almost gone, right? That's going to be perplexing to people that they can no longer go to the store and just get whatever they need, whatever they want, not even whatever they need. A lot of people just get more than what, what they need. It says, Lamentation 2 and 12, it says, uh, I started at 11, it says, my eyes do fell with tears, my bowels are troubled, my liver is poured upon the earth. For the desolation of the daughter of my people, because the children and the suckling swoon in the street of the city. They say to their mothers, where is corn and wine, right? At one point, those things were prevalent. They were in abundance. And it's going to come to a point where those things are going to be in a short supply, which is going to make hunger, right? Drive up inflation, right? It says they say to their mothers, Whereas corn and wine, when they when they swooned as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul 
was poured out into their bosoms. You see, there's going to be a, f a famine, a hunger that is going to be on this, on this earth again. It's going to kill a lot of people because a lot of people don't know how to go through that, especially in America. It's the Amos 4 and 6. Nobody, nobody, when you look at social media, everybody does everything in excess. Right? Me, I'm a brother. I like, to, I, you know, I, I, I can cook. I can get down in the kitchen. I look at those, you know, cooking videos and all that. People do things in extreme excess. And they do not know how to sustain a normal pattern in eating anymore. How to make up something out of nothing. People don't have that skill anymore. Right? Only a few. So it's going to drive hunger, famine, violence up. It's Amos 4 and 6. It says, and I, it says, and I also have given you cleanliness of teeth in all your cities and one of bread in all your palaces, in all your places. It says, uh, yet have you not returned unto me, say Yahweh. And this is what's gonna happen. The Lord is gonna give you cleanness of teeth, meaning you're not gonna have anything to eat. This is why in the book of Ezekiel talks about the bitter arrows of famine, right? Which shall be for their destruction. Now, with people in the world, this is something you have to worry about. But for, but for brothers, you know, I'm trying to bring out that that balance for brothers that have been laboring and doing what the Lord said. The Lord said, my servants shall eat. This is Psalms uh, 34, right? This is that balance for brothers in the truth. There's a judgment for the people in the world. And there's a there's a deliverance for the men that believe in the Heavenly Father. The men, women, and children that believe in the Heavenly Father, man. This is Psalms uh, 34. And 10, it says, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek Yahweh shall not want any good thing. You see? They that seek the Lord will not want any good thing. Meaning the Lord is going to take care of what we need in these times. You know, so just a quick lesson. Lord, well, I'm going to make sure I put uh, this video in the description. This is a very, very good video. I encourage brothers to watch it. But that being said, I'm going to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shalom.